hello guys i welcome you once again to gen graphic tutorials so in this tutorials we are coming to design a simple birthday flyer if this sounds good to you i just want you to subscribe to gen graphics for more amazing tutorials such as this and also these are the resources that we are going to use for our birthday flyer so let's get on into our photoshop and start something amazing so first of all i will just open up my photoshop and i'll go to my new file and first of all i just want to type give it a name as birthday and also let's give it a width of 1100 and give it a height of 1100 and let's make sure that it is on resolution the color mode should also be rgb color and let's go on and hit on create so this is the background that we are going to work on for our today's session of tutorial but before we start with anything else we are going to our view and we are going to our guys and we are going to our new guide layout so i just want to set out these guidelines so that everything that we do will just be in the perfect alignment so after we are done with this we will start importing our resources so first of all we go to our file and go to our place link and we go to where our files are so i'll first of all bring this image inside so i'll make sure that it takes the entire background like this very nice and very amazing so i will just select this image and go to my filter and go to my blur and go to the gaging blur so i just want to play to a radius of 60.6 something like this is very cool and very very amazing so after we are done with this i will go on and hit on my okay so we will also go on and set a gradient so before we set a gradient i just want us to select our foreground color to be a black color so you just go here and select your foreground color so we just set it to a black color so we just go to our panel here and set our gradient so this is the gradient that actually i just want us to set so i'll just go on and hit on ok so after we have set our gradient we go on to our file and go to our place link once again and this time we are going to bring this flare inside so i will just make sure that i select the flare and change the blending option to something like screen so let's make sure that it takes the entire background so we will just make sure that it takes some part of the background something like this is very cool and very very amazing so after we are done with this we will go on and take our brush and brush the sharper part of the image off so this is how i just want us to go about it so we will just brush the sharper part of the image off but before then you make sure that your opacity of the brush is 100 percent and the flow is also 100 percent so this is the settings of the eraser so we just use the eraser to brush off the sharper part of the image so after you are done with this you go on and bring on your next resource so i just want to bring on this resource very nice and very amazing so i just want to open it up to an extent like this very nice and very amazing so after i brought this flower inside go on and also bring on these images so this is my first image that i just want to bring it inside so i'll make sure that it is widely open to an extent like this very nice and very amazing so this is what i actually want to make so we can just be pushing the flower a little bit also like this very nice and very amazing so after we are done with this we are going to select our image pick up our eraser and we are going to do some simple brush at the down of this image so something like this is actually cool very nice and very amazing so after we are done with this we are going to bring on our 
next image so we go to our place link and this time we are going to bring this image also inside so we are going to push this image down here and we are going to reduce the size of this image to an extent like this very nice and very amazing so this is what i actually want us to make very nice and very very beautiful so with this image we are going to also clean the down part of this image so that it will actually look more amazing and very beautiful so after we are done with everything we can go on and group our layers so i just want to select the first image that we put inside and hold on shift to the flower then Control plus G to group them. So this actually we are going to name it as a background Then after that we also select our images and control plus G to group them and We are going to name them as images Something like this very nice and amazing. So after we are done with this we are going to create a new layer and we are going to also take a brush so we make sure that we make uh, our hardness to be zero and then we also um, choose a size of about um, 500 or let's choose a size of about 1000 and see very nice and amazing so we are going to pick up a yellow color so I think something like this is actually cool so the code is f 4 fc 0 c so we will pick um, a color like this then i just want us to create this effect here very nice and very amazing so after that we are going to select this one this layer with a brush then we change the blending option to something called linear dodge so this is what I actually want us to do very nice and very amazing so after we are done with this we go on and add other things also to it so I just want to pick up my red tangle and create this boss here very nice and very amazing then I'll make sure that it is actually a red color like this so let's make sure that the strokes are zero very nice and very amazing so control plus j to duplicate the same thing and this one we are going to make sure that it is actually a black color so this is what i actually want us to make so let's select our first rectangle that we created and let's go to the properties and um, let's bend one of the size like this so we can bend it to about 50 something like this very nice and amazing so on this rectangle we are going to type our birthday so let's start with um typing something like glorious so i'm going to select the text and change it to times new roman so this is what i actually want to use for the glorious very nice and amazing then I will just put it on it like this very beautifully so nice then go on and duplicate the same test and bring it down here so on this one so we are going to type something like birthday so let's select and type something like birthday very nice and very amazing so this is what I actually wanted us to create but you can also increase the size if you would like to increase the size of the bed you can just select all and just increase the size a little bit like this very nice and very amazing so after we are done with this we are going to type another thing so this time I just want us to type something like the name of the celebrant so Chioma. so we will select the test and go to our test panel so i just want the test to be 
48 the size of the text should be 48 and let's change the font also to vulture taken by vulture and let's make sure that the spaces between the text is also 200 so this is what i actually want us to create very nice and very very amazing so we will just push it at the top here very nice and very beautifully then we are going to also create another box down here so we will just create a box like this but we make sure that the strokes are just zero then we just bend all the sizes so we just lock the sizes and we are going to bend the entire sizes like this very nice and amazing so we will select the rectangle that we just created and make sure that the field is zero then we are going to the effects and add some strokes also to it so we will add about um, one stroke we, we will just add this a, a single stroke to it and make sure that the stroke color is actually white something like this very nice and amazing and we make sure that it is centrally aligned with what we have just created so after we are done with this we will just go on and type the washing message in this box so the washing message should be a roboto font then the size should be six then let's go to the panel here and reduce the spaces to about 10 then we will also reduce the uh, this upper spaces to about six something like this very nice and amazing then it should be a centrally aligned test so this is actually a random test but this is the place you will actually type your washing messages to the celebrant very nice and very very amazing so we are almost done with the flyer so we go on and bring our almost our last resource here so i just want to add this to it so that it will look quite amazing and very beautiful so you can actually change um, this thing to white or you can leave it as black as it is so this is what i actually want to add it to it so that it will look um, a little bit beautiful so this is the end of the flyer if you find this so amazing and very interesting you can go on and study along with this tutorial and create something similar to this so we are going to meet in another session of tutorial thank you and bye bye